Hello and welcome to this learning video. In this learning video, we are going to take uh, some different varieties of problem where we are going to make use of the properties that we have taken and you will realize that how properties can be very helpful in solving the problems. Okay, so without wasting much time, let us see what this problem says. So in a sampling, uh, in sampling a large number of parts manufactured by a machine, the mean number of defectives in a sample of 20 is 2. So, mean number of defective is 2 in a sample of 20. So, what is my n? My n is 20. And what is my mu? Mu is 2. Right? Then, out of 1000 such samples, how many would be expected to contain at least 3 defectives? So, we have 1000 such samples and we have to find out how many uh, expected to contain 3 at least 3 means at least 3 means more than 3 is also accepted okay so let us start with this so by looking at this problem what I come to know is number of trials or no, mean number of defectives is 2 mean number of defectives mean number of defectives is equal to 2 and what is n number of trials and n is equal to 20 okay but in binomial but in binomial distribution but in binomial distribution we have seen what is mu we have actually proved that first property in binomial distribution, my mean mu is equal to mp. Okay, so here I can substitute the values of mu as a 2, n as a 20 and p as a d. So what is p? So here p will be 2 by 20, 1 by 10. So p is equal to 0 0.1. And we already know that the sum of the probability is equal to 1. So, we have only two outcomes here. We have only two events, P and Q. So, P plus Q is equal to 1. So, what is Q? You can write here. Therefore, Q is equal to 1 minus P is equal to 1 minus 0 0.1, 0 0.9. So, we have the probability of Q to be 0 0.9. Now, what we have to find out? We have to find out probability, probability of probability of what at least probability of at least three defective parts so probability of at least three defective at least three defective parts in a sample of 20 in a sample of 20 is equal to now I will write it here as probability of x greater than equal to 3 okay because here it is like at least 3 so minimum 3 is okay more than 3 accepted okay so probability of x greater than equal to 3 can also be written as 1 minus probability of x less than 3 right so, this can be written as 1 minus probability of x less than 3, meaning thereby probability of x is equal to 0, probability of x is equal to 1, probability of x is equal to 2, less than 3. Okay, now you just have to find out. So, what is it? This is 1 minus nc0, so this is 20c0 p to the power x. Q. What is P here? Here P is 0.1. So 0.1 to the power 0. Q. 0.9 to the power. What is it? 20. Okay. Plus. For X is equal to 1 is 20 C1. So this is 20 C1 into 0.1 power point. Sorry. 0.1 power 1 into 0.9 power 20 minus n minus x so this is 90 plus 20 c2 
point one power what is it two into point nine power eighteen. Okay. So when you solve this, you will be getting one minus all the sum to this is uh, when you solve this and subtract from one, so you'll be getting point three two three. So this is the probability of at least three defective pieces okay in a sample of 20 but we have to find out the probability of samples containing at least three defective parts and how many such samples are there 1000 so what we have to do just multiply it by 1000 so you just need to write it here So don't forget to write down the final answer. Therefore, the number of defective, okay, the number of samples, number of samples having at least three defective, having at least three defective parts, three defective parts in a sample of 1000, out of 1000 is equal to 0.323 into 1000. So, this comes out to be 323. Three. So, this completes the problem. Okay. So, let us take one uh, small problem on the basis of this only. So, let me take next example please. A discrete random variable x is binomially is binomially distributed is binomially distributed with mean with mean six and variance is two with mean six and variance two and variance 2. Find the probability that find the probability find the probability that find less than equal to x less than equal to 7. Okay. So to solve such type of problem first of all you must know the properties of binomial distribution and what are those properties mean mu is equal to np and uh, do you remember what is the variance variance is equal to npq okay so you can just here write we know that whenever you are writing these three golden words in mathematics ask yourself what we know we know that the mean and variance the mean and variance of of binomial distribution of binomial distribution are binomial distribution are mean is np and variance is npq okay that is mu is equal to np and sigma is equal to npq sigma square it is okay but these values are given to you but mu is given to us as 2 no 6 and variance mu is equal to np is equal to 6 and Sigma square is equal to and PQ is equal to 2. Okay, so using this in this, you can just substitute here because NP is given to us as 6. So I can write it as 6Q is equal to 2. So what is Q? 2 by 6, so 1 by 3. So Q is equal to 
1 by 3. Likewise, you can find, once you get Q, you can easily find out what? P. So, therefore, P is equal to 1 minus Q. So, 1 minus 1 by 3 is 2 by 3. So, I am getting my P as 2 by 3 and Q as 1 by 3. Okay. So, P 2 by 3, Q 1 by 3. Now, further... further n p is equal to 6 so n is equal to 6 by p which is equal to 6 by 2 by 3 so this is 18 by 2 that's 9 so I am getting n also now I have n Now I have n, I have p, q, so I can easily found out the probability which is asked. Probability of 5 less than equal to x less than equal to 7. So this can be probability of x is equal to 5 plus probability of x is equal to 6 plus probability of x is equal to 7. So can you able to write down this? Okay. So this is... Uh, n is 9 n c x so this is 9 c 5 p what is p p is my 2 by 3 2 by 3 power x into q q is 1 by 3 power 9 minus 5 4 plus 9 c 6 2 by 3 power 6 into 1 by 3 9 minus 6 is 3 plus 9c7 into 2 by 3 power 7 into 1 by 3 power, what is it? 1 by 3 power 2. So when you solve all these values, you will be getting 0.7121. That is the probability for 5 less than equal to x less than equal to 7. So, that is what we wanted to find out. Okay. So, I hope uh, this problem is also uh, clear to you. Here we have uh, used uh, the properties of uh, binomial distribution, namely mean and values. Okay. So, thank you for watching this learning video and have a good day. Thank you.